So it's all the same. It's the same to me. Social justice, activism, ceremony, prayer, and doing it through art. I need to forgive myself so that that also ripples out so that you can learn to forgive yourself. It's not our job to interpret each other's feelings. Like, if you don't communicate it, then you just have to deal with it on your own. I decided to start talking about that a lot more and, and, and making these kids feel like they're not alone. When you're a hip hop artist, you have to go out and read the crowd. You have to understand the venue, the weather, the news, the everything to kind of create a condition in which people can accept, readily accept your performance. Like you read the crowd, right? You read the crowd, then you feed the crowd is basically like the mantra that people have. So we didn't have a crowd to read. So it's like, do what you want to do. <laughs> Like, how are you feeling today? Like, what, what, what would you like to, like, what's gonna be a salve for your spirit to perform? What's gonna give you the energy you need while you're performing? So it's like, we were the crowd. Adjusting to the live stream, we're on the way to the live stream right now, we had to put a set list together. It's like, okay, well, what kind of intro do we do? Or what kind of set do we do? With that same mentality in mind, it's like, however we feel, you know, whatever songs we genuinely feel like singing today is what we're gonna do. Living in that space where you're just enjoying your art and doing it for yourself first, and then letting the rest of the world experience it, or witness it. Quit stressing over, thinking, overworking. Clear your mind from anything that's toxic It's time to face your fears, never revisit The bitterness, the anger, the grudges you held on to You gotta, gotta leave it all behind Lock them in the palm box, bury the hatchet Get planted, solid as a rock You will grow like a tree When you let it all go and feel free Get excited about your future Keep on thinking deeper to reach your highest potential Become monumental <laughs> 7 o'clock on the dot <laughs> Thank you so much. See, I'm crazy, man. I overbook myself. I'm on a, I'm on the clubhouse. They schedule it for seven o'clock. So boom, they ping me in. I go from the stage to the clubhouse. What's up? Artist from Palestine. Wow. So now I'm gonna have to juggle this. So, um, I'm gonna handle this while I pack my stuff. I definitely want to hear from people in the audience as we move along. And um, I'm just, I just thank all of you for coming here because it's not, it's not one of us, it's all of us. Part of my practice has always been like you know, relation and, and being like, okay, well, I'm dealing with somebody that's a, a, a murderer. So what part of that murderer is related to me and what part of that thing is within me? And that, that would be how I would relate to him. And that's how I would teach is be like, you know, like I understand that you had this anger issue and this anxiety and you lashed out and you hurt somebody. Now it's not something that I've ever practiced. Like I'm not a violent person, but I know that there's a part of me that is violent. It's just violent in a different way. And so through exploring that, I, I came to these understandings of what my violence was. And so I really started looking internally and then noticing in my life the ways that like my own violence was manifesting. So much of my work has become is like, what is it that I'm communicating? We have like these complex ideas that, um, and philosophies that are going on in our minds about like what art should be and how should we do it and like how do we best communicate those things because it's a very complicated subject. The nuances of communication are so difficult to master. While I have this one meaning that's coming out of my mind, like you're probably perceiving it a slightly different than what I actually mean. You're reading my body language, you're reading my facial expressions, and they're not all perfectly succinct, you know, where it's just like, oh, every single thing's thought out. I like the concept of just being multidimensional and being a multimedia artist where it's just like, what is the best thing that I could do to express this idea 
you know, most, most accurately. Get that side, get that corner. Now you can put them on yourself. What up? Good boy. Okay. So this is like the traditional homelands of the Cheyenne and the Arapaho, and the Hickory, Apache, the Ute. They were forced onto reservations, of course, in Oklahoma and that area. <laughs> Maybe don't jump on people. To say good morning. You need to go around and shake hands and say good morning to everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Go see Gampa for a little bit. Are we going Mom, deep there? Mama goes to the next phase of her life. What do we do when we protest? What do we say? Remember? You put your fist up. Can you put your fist up? Protest to me. Just social work con community is really how I look at it. It's like protest is part of building community or gathering to, to say something, to stand up for something that you believe strongly in, to, to be treated equally, to be treated like a human being. Um, those things are really important to me, not only to me, but to my brothers and sisters around. So it comes back to that, again, like the prayer, the ceremony, the social justice of wanting a better world. Ensemble, mes frères, mes sœurs, nous allons commencer une nouvelle lutte, une lutte sublime. So it's all the same, it's the same thing. Social justice, activism, ceremony, prayer, and doing it through art. Hey.